Hemlock is a native species to Michigan and much of the upper Great Lakes region. You find it all the way to New England and down the East Coast, and it's a really important tree for a lot of reasons. First off, it's a beautiful tree. It can grow very large and be very old. It can live to be over 300 years, and it's critically important for wildlife. This is an insect that is native to Japan. It was found in the eastern U.S. in 1950 or 1951 in Virginia. And ever since then, it has slowly spread to the north and to the west. And we recently found it here in Michigan. All the infestations that we've found appear to have been started by nursery trees that were imported from other states, places where hemlock woolly adelgid has been established for a number of years. What the adelgid does to the tree is it has piercing sucking mouth parts. Um, a lot of insects do. And what this specific little insect does is it pierces the tissue right at the base of the needle. And it has a very long stylet, which is kind of like a long straw uh, that it's going to use to suck nutrients and liquids out of the tree. And it runs that stylet through the woody part of the shoot and it gets into cells that are right along the vascular tissue in the shoot. And if you think about trees, they're moving water from the roots up the trunk and into the needles. They're moving carbohydrates and food that the needles produce down the shoots and into the trunk and back down to the roots. And the hemlock woolly adelgid is able to take advantage of the nutrients in the water that are being transported in the shoots and it starts sucking the good nutrients and, and some of the moisture out. A little tiny adelgid, it's almost microscopic. You can barely see it with your eye if you have a hand lens, but it has pores all along its body. And these pores secrete little filaments of white wax. And when you see a tree that has become infested with hemlock woolly adelgid, what you're gonna see is the white wax. There's two generations a year and one of the most unique aspects of hemlock woolly adelgid is that one of the generations, it begins feeding about the middle part of October, it feeds into the fall, it feeds all through the winter, it feeds in the early part of the spring when we have some of the most terrible weather in Michigan, and it's gonna mature somewhere probably in March or April, perhaps as late as May, and it will, those adelgids will produce eggs. Those eggs hatch and the second generation of adelgids feeds and develops very rapidly, produces eggs by the early part of the summer. Those eggs hatch uh, again early in the summer, and you have these tiny, tiny, they look like black specks of pepper. If you think about pepper that you'd put on your salad, these little tiny insects estivate. They basically go dormant all summer. There are a few other insects that will affect hemlock trees in Michigan. One of them is another invasive pest, not native to North America. It's called elongate hemlock scale. And you will see the scale on the needles of hemlock. Hemlock woolly adelgid, the pest that we're really concerned about, is down at the base of the needles, right where the needle attaches to the woody shoot. And you'll see the white, waxy ovisacs. With elongate hemlock scale, you see a yellowish, kind of a creamy to yellowish little oval type of insect, a scale insect. It's not going to move at all, and it's going to be on the needles. And elongate hemlock scale is not a great thing. I, I wish we didn't have it in Michigan, but it's not nearly as big of a problem as hemlock woolly adelgid is. In the state of Michigan, in forests, not counting landscape trees, but just in the forests in Michigan, we have over 170 million hemlock trees and those trees are all threatened by hemlock woolly adelgid. The long distance means of spreading hemlock adelgid is gonna be on nursery trees. If you have infested nursery stock, could be small trees, could be trees that are B&B &B trees, and they're planted in a landscape. You've moved the insect with its host, and there's no reason in the world to think that that insect population won't thrive there. And so we're real concerned about nursery trees coming into the state and of course, making sure that our nursery growers here continue to produce clean hemlock. If you are interested in obtaining more information about this program, contact the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development or Michigan State University Extension.